We're going to start off the workout with a dynamic warm-up, and the object is just to get warmed up by getting a little blood flow, get the body temperature up, which already isn't a very big problem because it's 110 outside. We're going to start off with just the dynamic warm-up, then we start off the exercises with lighter weights than we're actually going to use for the work set. So you go from a kind of a general warm-up to a more specific one. But what today is a deload, meaning the purposely the volume and the intensity of the workouts reduced to kind of let the central nervous system recover as long as you give the branches, joints, muscles a little bit of a break, but it's not taking the day off. The, the main objective here besides rest is it gives, it gives a, the bodybuilder branch in this case a great opportunity to reestablish the mind muscle connection because he's not concerned with using huge weights so he can really feel out the movements. Today's workout is going to start off with incline dumbbell presses, followed by regular flat bench presses, then dips with a forward lean, put an emphasis on the chest, followed by chain flies, followed by cable uppercut flies. Here we're starting off with um, just warming up with uh, some light dumbbell incline presses. Starting off with, this, you know Branch, a very strong man, and even he is starting off with 30 pound dumbbells. So it's very important to warm up. warming up on the bench press. Getting a good full range of motion, really feeling the weight. This is heavy's branch going today because again like we've already talked about the deload we're going to deload on the chest today so you know we're still getting like an active recovery here he's getting a good full range of motion really feeling the weight even doing this lighter weight feeling out that range of motion watch his chest look at the growth that's taking place you can even see before branch is having a, a branch sometimes neglected locking weights out if you watch these reps even with lightweight, watch the top of the rep. You can see that you can see him squeezing his chest. He locks the weight out, and that's necessary for full full development. Not only the triceps, but also the chest. Branch. Good full range of motion. Dips done in the peak contraction style. Watch how he's leaning forward. Chin tucked to the chest. This puts the majority of the emphasis on the pecs versus if you're in a more upright posture, you're gonna hit the, the triceps more. Here we're doing um, flies with chains. Watch Branch's chest. It, this literally attacks every muscle fiber in the chest. What's interesting about this movement is it flies. One of the, the criticisms of the movement with dumbbells is it puts a whole lot of strain on your shoulders. What the chains do is at the bottom of the movement unload to sort of take some of the stress off your shoulders. But as you squeeze together and your leverage improves, the resistance of the chains increases because each link comes off the ground. So the benefit of a dumbbell fly is it's sort of a stretch movement where the benefit of like a, a pec deck or a cable is it's a peak contraction movement. The benefit of the, the chain fly Flies, it sort of combines these, you're basically combining these two different types of movement into one movement so it's very economical in your training and delivers great results. Watch Branch's chest as he gets to the top of the movement, he holds it together for a second. Even with this lighter deload weight, you can see his chest is still working.
as you can see initially when Branch starts off, he's not holding the, the weight together at the top. And you hear, if you can hear me, I, I say something and, he, and then he corrects it and gets it right. So that's the point. You want to, to get the full benefit of this movement, you get the stretch at the bottom, the peak contraction at the top. If you go by the old school positions of flexion philosophy, which is a great way to look at different movements, you're attacking two of the three with one movement. Very economical in your training. Branch for performing a cable uppercut fly. Good stretch at the bottom, good hold and squeeze at the top. You watch when Branch starts to set the first rep kind of touches the cables together very briefly and starts to rep over. After that he corrects himself and holds to the top. Get that with that extra hold, half second, second hold at the top, really multiplies the benefits of the movement.